could have done it. Oh, yeah, Pan Around would have worked too, right? Yeah, after this, you can. Wait, I'm gonna count. You can see every single color. I mean, after you've done all the rows? This is the uh, Nature's Head Toilet and uh, uh, this will be the first time use and setup, getting it ready to go. Um, I haven't mounted anything down yet, it's just uh, I want to get it kind of going, started here so you can use the, uh, use the head as they say. I wanted to pay uh, you to pay particular attention to the fire extinguisher behind the head because sometimes, uh, you know, it's really bad smell. Um, so I'm just going to show uh, what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go out later today and just pick up a um, a new uh, gasket. I just want to put a new one in. Um, I've already fixed the fan. I replaced it with a, a computer fan that I had. And so now what they're saying is that i got to get uh, some peat moss. Uh, sphagnum peat moss. Alright, so there's a few uh, pieces that I need. So this is the hose, uh, the venting hose. This is the uh, little thing here to turn the... It's nice that I haven't had this mounted. I can kind of show you what's going on. So this goes here to help turn this thing. Uh, you basically just turn this thing here once you get the uh, peat moss to just cover to just under the agitators what they call that and then uh, there's a trap door so what you don't want is you don't want uh, your urine to go in the back so what happens is you got to tell people to pee only and keep it closed and then if you have to poo, then you open that up and you do your business in there. And then you have to just remember to keep that closed. But essentially, this pipe here uh, can go like that. This one can go like that. However you need. And basically, I'm just going to vent that out into that locker space. And then on the other side of the locker space, I'm going to get another hose and I'm going to vent that out all the way to uh, uh, to the back um, of the boat somewhere so that it's not uh, anywhere near the cockpit. On this side here is an air intake. So basically it just takes air in, it helps vent the odors out of the tank and puts it through into the, um, the tube and then wherever you want to pass that up. So push this up and out of the out of the room here uh, and that's basically how it kind of works so it, it keeps the venting uh, it's always venting okay so then the next piece is this long one here along the bottom uh, this one? Yeah. There's a wire there. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that out of there. For panorama, you mean? You could have done a panorama. Oh yeah, panorama would have worked too, right? Yeah, after this, do a panorama. Wait, I'm gonna count. You can see every single color red. So what are you working on? I cut it. Now do I break it? You scoured it. How far are you through? At least halfway. I don't know. Yeah. So, no, bend it the other way. Yeah. Put it on your knee. Yeah. There you go. Push hard. Okay, you didn't go enough then. Go a little bit more. Okay. And put it on your knee like you were doing and then just give it a snap. There you go. Good job. And then what are you doing with those, those pieces? Well, in here. And then I put in the 
putting them in the wall. Does mine fit? Yes, it does. There you go. So why are we putting those in the wall? For insulation. For insulation, yeah. So we don't hear things. And it actually makes the wall stiffer and quieter. Uh oh. It's a little stiff on that one. So that one's a slightly smaller than eight. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so let's put it in that one. Then you have to remember, cut one a little smaller than eight to fit that one. I really am fit in this one. Okay, put it in. There you go. Good. So then after you get the next one up, you can put this piece back on. Okay. And uh, while David is insulating the walls for us uh, to get the last of the paneling on, um, I'm actually building a drawer frame for uh, this cooler. It's got a 12 volt com uh, compressor in it. It works, on, actually it works on 12, 24 or on um, 120 with the adapter but it's basically a 12 volt compressor it's made by LG the compressor and uh, the cooler itself is uh, called Alley Cool and this one is 35 quarts so it's not very big but enough for us here on the boat and then what we're doing is we're building a sliding drawer to fit this and then it will uh, slide out and then we'll lift up the lid and close it down. So that's what uh, I'm working on right now. And uh, looking forward to seeing this thing plugged in and tested. How goes it, David? Uh, good. With this one, I moved a little bit with the knife and I cut here, so I just have to trim it just a little bit. Okay, cool. Because I accidentally. Okay, so basically. Uh, I am cutting these insulation pieces to fit into the wall here. And what I do er, is what I measured how long or how big this gap was. The gap here where I'm putting the insulation. And it's uh, 8 inches. So I go to my insulation and I cut uh, 8 inches wide on the piece. And then I just come here and see if it fits. Which this one did. So, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, Daddy, what you doing? I'm just attaching the bottom of these uh, rails here on the on the top, but I'm just checking the side, and I think that when I push on it like that, it doesn't stay straight. It's just got a slight curve on it, so I got to watch this side, and then I'm just going by feel here that it's in the middle. It looks pretty good. Board just slightly bigger because I don't need any sides. That way the feet will thrust right here from the cooler. Which is right there. Yeah. The Al Al Alpi Cool. Yeah. Alpi Cool. So now Dad's just drilling the screw in. screws they don't stay on the unless you're perfectly still and straight there we go so that's stuck in there now until I pull these little levers so if I wanted to take this whole thing off I just clip these two levers and I could take the shelf out otherwise if I clip those in place they're clipped now if roll it in dead It worked! You like that? It worked! <sighs> and look, it just pulls itself. Oh, it's so cool! Alright. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll talk about the, the doors when I start doing all the doors, but I might want to do something different, but I don't know yet. But for now, that looks like it's working pretty good. And it looks pretty straight all the way back. The drawer looks like it's going in, it's not binding. The 
looks great, Dad. Hello. Okay, so here's an update. Uh, I've been working all day. We've got the drawer in there nice. I'm just waiting for the uh, fiberglass uh, tie-in to, to, um, to work. But uh, I've got the electrical tied in. I'm on my, uh, my fuse panel. I put a 10 amp fuse in because I didn't know what it was using. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some math here to figure it out. But this here, I've got it in eco mode. This is the Alley Cool uh, 35 um, quart version of their cooler, and it started out at 25 degrees inside. And I had to go in connect with the Bluetooth app to get it to actually turn on. But look, it's 20 degrees. So the compressor's been running now for a few minutes. So what I did is I came over here and I said, well, what is my thing doing? I'm at the end of the day, so I've got 68 volts and 53 volts on my batteries. Um, that Renogy thing flashes when it's charging. So what this is telling me is that I'm actually generating more current now than this is drawing, which is awesome. So I just, uh, when the sun comes out, um, I have enough power here to run everything on my boat, including the compressor on this thing. 19. Which is great. So it looks like, um, sorry, 19? Yeah. Wow. So it's uh, right now at 80 watts. And I started with 53.02 volts. So it's actually charging right now. And it's only doing 1.5 amps worth of charge. I've increased it to allow it to do 3 amps of charging. Um, but it looks like I don't really need it here. So um, I'm still going to do the math to try to figure out what this is actually drawing once the sun goes down. I'll turn everything off and I'll take a look here. So um, I can see it's definitely making an impact on my solid state converter uh, to convert from 48 to 12 volts. So because it's showing me 11.4 with this thing on so it's running a bit uh, a bit low. Um, but look at that it's at 17 degrees already. Charger is awesome. And then in the uh, Alpi Cool, uh, it's showing me I've got 26% battery capacity. I don't know why. 10.3 volts. It's currently 16 degrees. And this is where I set my setting. So it's pretty simple. I'm not too sure what this left and then right thing is. I don't know what that means left right maybe the app is made for some fridges that have two sections but this one only has left section I guess uh, so I the, what I had to do is I had to set this uh, low voltage to um, or to low and that corresponded on my display as high medium and then low so uh, yeah I'm kind of curious that did not take long at all what's it been running for maybe five ten minutes not even 10 minutes, 5 minutes. Like 5 minutes, uh, maybe 5 minutes, and it's already down to 15 degrees here. So, so uh, that's just uh, awesome. So, this is the uh, car fridge freezer, and it is the Alley Alpi Cool. And I got it from uh, North Shore Off Road. Oh, that sun is something else, eh? Behind a cloud like that? Yeah. Um, I think that's nice. Oh, it turned off. It's a 12. What do you mean cool. So that was it. That was less than 10 minutes to cool the fridge down to 12 degrees. Can I open it and see? We're gonna open it and check and do the, uh, the face test. Is it really? Ch is it really the field test? Okay, go for it. Whoa. Oh, it is cold. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Close it, close it, close it. Now what's it at? 12. We just let a bunch of heat in it though. Yeah. So maybe it'll go up. 11. 11, it went down. <laughs> cool, well we'll, get the, well we'll get some milk, put it in and see what it does in the morning. Milk might go bad, but then. Nah. Mm. Alright, so uh, David and I signing off as we keep working on the uh, projects here on the boat and strong enough so uh, what I ended up buying here is a Victron Energy Phoenix inverter 
and I'd like to have done the unboxing, but uh, I'd say the box failed. It uh, literally, uh, I'm not too sure the glue came undone. 